And a good day, all of you. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition today from Faubourg Brewing Company, formerly known as Dixie. Dixie, Dixie, but I can't say that. Anyway, Faubourg Brewing Company, the premium lager, 4.8% ABV. Um, interesting stories. Uh, this was released in 2021. Uh, the brewery, formerly known as Dixie, Dixie Brewery, I can't say it. Uh, been around since 1907, but um, had to make some name changes in 2020. 2020, what a year that was. Yeah, what a year. So much was going on that year, from this and that, and just, I'll get to that later. But anyway. To the beer. Um, a beer advocate that says scores NA, non-active or not available, whatever. But if you go on the website, you know, from some of the comments and people have made who have had the beer themselves, personally, um, the score has been somewhat favorable. It says uh, so far the average rating is 3.8 out of 5. So, so I guess they like it. Um, uh, Untap gives it a 3.5 out of 5. So... I picked this up in Mobile um, when I'm visiting some old friends and recently. So I got the lager. Now it says it's American lager. The other side, one site, American lager. On Beer Advocate it says it's an American lager, but on Tag it says it's a Czech Pilsner. So we shall see. Says made with just barley hops, so. And pure filtered water. But the water, filtered water, of course, the water from the Mississippi River, you know. Uh, the, the, the formal name of the brewery. Dixie, Dixie, Dixie. I can't say it, but Dixie. Um... A historic landmark in that uh, state, in that area. You know, like every beer has their own signature brewery that they would identify with um, or grew up having. Um, for for me, grew, growing up in Jersey, even though I was not a beer drinking age, but when you were driving on the Garden State Parkway and you could see the Paps sign and, um, well, there was a Paps brewery there, you know. There was Paps, of course. Now that building is completely tore down. I think they're going to turn into apartment complexes or something. But we drive through there now. It's like just barely empty. And it looks so weird when I drive through there through South Orange. Going on to, um, I'm going headed towards Irvington. Going through East Orange into Irvington. You know, it's just, hey, where is that sign? It's not there anymore. Hmm. Um... Even Ballantyne Hill, which is another historic brewery in Newark. Freela Heisen Avenue, of course, that brewery blew up, came and went. So there was always that signature beer in your town that was like identified with your city. And Dixie, 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 Dixie. Um, now, Foberg is now, you know, is <laughs> that beer now. Well, it used to be another name, but now Foberg. And here's what the beer looks. Looks like your standard average lager. Nothing special. So, let's cheer. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Nice. Mm. It has some of that little Pilsner taste to it. It has a little yeasty complexity to it pretty decent pretty good hmm. yeah I checked this out the other day and I said I had to get it you know because some other things I haven't been able to find and I kept doing research and I said okay that was what these beer used to be um 
It does have sort of that Pilsner feel. It's a little biscuit, a little bready. Now the Nicka Sarpa is sort of like a, a yeast, a sweet yeast sort of feel, taste to it. Sweet bread, a sweet biscuit, mouthfeel in this. I'm going to call this a lager. I think it's more of a Pilsner, but that's just me. But I'll put the name, whatever, down on it. Um, yeah, not too bad. I had to sit in the refrigerator for a couple of days. Like I said, I did some shopping. I was down in the Mobile area, Mobile, Alabama, and I just had to find some things. And some things I saw, I was like, yay. And some things I said, oh, I've had this already. Oh, I've had that. Oh, I've had this. Oh, I've had that. No, I've had this. So I was a little, like, you know, mm, I don't know. There's really nothing here for me to see or sample or try that I really need to get my hands on at all. So, had this, had that, been there, done that. So, actually, some of the stuff I actually can get up here because of the distance. Especially some of the breweries in Birmingham. Birmingham is like, what, 90 minutes away from where, where I am. So, you know, rather than ease, I can get a lot of things there, you know. A lot of this, a lot of that. But I think I might need to make a trip this fall to Birmingham, Alabama, just to check out the beer scene, see what's out there. All, you know, nothing wrong with that, right? Hmm. Yeah, so this is not bad. This isn't bad for a Czech style because we want to say a lager. Um... I did a tour of the brewery, formerly known as X, X, X. Uh, this was uh, back in early 2020, 2020 yes. Um, the company was bought out by the Benson family. It was it was a very popular brewery, and then they went through some situations, and some natural disasters have kind of wiped away the brewery. Then they made a comeback. The Benson family, which owns the Saints, uh, the World of Saints, football team, National Football League, uh, bought the brewery, and they brought it back, and they uh, reopened it again, um, and they did a, a big grand reopening in, uh, of January 2020. I had gone down and meet up with uh, Ronald J. Terrio and his buddy David, Ronald J. Terrio, Louisiana Beer Reviews, check his channel out, that man is going places, Ronald J. Terrio is going places with his channel, to the top. So me and Dave, and we went and we saw the brewery, and you know it was kind of cool, nice. It was way out in some industrial area outside of New Orleans, uh, the downtown New Orleans, excuse me, in the city of New Orleans, but somewhere out in the outskirts of it. So I just did a tour. We were a little disappointed in what we saw on that tour, so but we ended up kind of doing some other things that day, which was kind of real, real fun trip. It was the day before my birthday, and. Yeah, so, um, yeah, but who would have known what that year was going to be like, the rest of 2020, and that was, oof, man, from the scandemic, as people like to call it, you know, with current COVID, you know, all the social, racial unrest that was going on that year, which was a lot of it, and, um, of course, there was also a presidential election, and we were dealing with a lot of things that year and just in terms of everything that you name it. Now, I only read about 1968 and I've seen several videos and, and documentaries about 1968. And I would say 2020 was eerily similar to that time. Now, those who grew up will tell you otherwise, this is a little more violent. But I think this was a little more of the same here. And some of it was needed, needed discussions, needed, needed, uh, we, we, we needed to have these discussions that year because it was so much going on. And, um, yeah, it's just a very, a lot of time of reflection and a lot of moment of really of deep thought, you know, what's important, what's not important, 
what's valuable, what's not valuable. Just a lot of things that year was just crazy. 2020 was. But anyway. So. Um, yeah. But anyway, back to beer. No talking negative. Let's talk back beer. What unites people is beer, 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 beer. So, yeah, this is a good, very well done, very well made uh, lager. I, um, um, yeah, I can't, I'm going to keep going back to that, that topic again. But, but anyway, this is well done. I, they say it's a, I say it's a Pilsner. Some will say it's a lager, but I'm looking at more as a Pilsner than anything. So, um, this is good. Nice, clean, refreshing, 4.8%. Not going to get you in any sort of way. But um, the flavors are there. Sort of that nice, bready biscuitiness. Nice, good hops. Very flavorful. Just a superb, enjoyable, decent lager. So for the Faubourg Premium Lager, I'm going to go all the way uh, with a B plus. So this would be an 8.7. Check it out if you can get it in the New Orleans area. Faubourg, formerly... Anyway, 8.7, B plus for this delicious gem, delicious brew. Hmm. Jean and Pierre, the beverage ramble. Continue to keep on watching as always. Cheers. Look, laugh, and love. Shh. Faubourg, 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 Faubourg. Enjoy. Yay.